Hi, I am Rakesh Mohan, your booktuber, and today I have come up with a new review of a book written by a very famous motivator, inspiring uh, writer, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich book. This book was published in 1921 for people who want to become rich. Till that time, nobody knew there's a book to read and, and to become rich uh, financially, emotionally, and spiritually. By doing a research of over 500 self-made millionaires at that time, at the very uh, uh, request of, uh, at that time, the very famous industrialist Dale Carnegie, uh, the writer and the author, went on to meet these 500 self-made millionaires and he took a personal interview of them, what made them millionaires and what circumstances they had to work and what problems they had to work on and how they became richer in their successful chosen field by writing on concise and attainable book for every person. This book has become a universally uh, successful and the most time adjusted book, successful book for every person who is in middle class or below middle class of poverty and had all of these topics and he has written his books in 13 rules of principles. If you adopt these 13 rules of principles in your real life, surely you can think and grow rich. And let me introduce step by step these rules. First step, he says, is you should have a burning desire to achieve something. So you simply cannot become rich. If you're a student, you want to get a first rank, you should have a burning desire. If you are a professional or a businessman, if you want to become number one in your work, or if you want to earn a lot of profits, then you should have a strong burning desire inside you. Interest is different. In just having interest, you can't achieve anything, something great. So scoring 60% is success, not achievement. Scoring 98 or 100 out of 100 is achievement. Maybe Making a 30 rupees out of 100 rupees investment is success, but not achievement. If you make 100 rupees by investing 100 rupees, that is achievement. So, if you're aiming very high, aiming very big, is what we call burning desire. Right? The moment you get up in the morning till the night, you have to keep working. You should have a strong burning desire to achieve something outstanding in your life. That is what I call second chapter the second rule that napoleon mentions in his book is you should have a strong faith in yourself if you should have strong belief in yourself the work you have taken the project you have taken and if you do it without a self-belief that will not end there's so many thousands of examples of people who work very harder by the time they're about to get their success they'll stop their work and they will not be able to achieve that only five percent of the people in this world they have strong faith in themselves they form straight faith in their uh, talent, their faith in themselves, their faith in their work style, and they reach to the top and they'll become successful. Okay, the second rule, the principle that uh, <coughs> the author mentions is you should have a strong faith in your work. Keep that faith till the end and make sure that you don't stop in between. The third principle Dale Carnegie mentions in his book on um, Think and Grow Rich is you should have auto suggestion. So there are times when you are working towards your success, your goal, and you feel not interesting, you are not inspired, you are not getting motivated. Why I should work? Why I have to spend so much of time on this? So you are losing interest. You are losing self motivation to motivate yourself. Uh, the author mentions very clearly that you motivate yourself, you motivate your mind by auto-suggestion. The word itself says, tell yourself, tell yourself, I am successful, I am successful, I am successful. By telling it yourself, you are pushing up your own energies, inner energy, and you're motivating your mind to work more and more and more. Auto-suggestion is the third thing, the third principle where uh, Napoleon Hill mentions to, you have to use every morning you get up. Auto suggest to yourself, night before sleeping, while you are working. Yes, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it successfully. I'm working harder, I'm going, I'm going to become successful. Do this and surely you're going to become successful in your work, the project you have taken. This is the third rule he mentions very clearly, auto suggest. Fourth principle where Napoleon will mention is specialized knowledge. There are two types of knowledge. One is general knowledge and the other one is specialized knowledge. General knowledge will not help you to become successful in your field. You need more than that. You have to acquire knowledge, which is called specialized knowledge. Specialized knowledge is the knowledge which is very man. 
intelligently plan for a specific plan of action. If you develop specialist knowledge for the goal you have applied, truly it will take you to your success. It will take you to your goal. It will help you to achieve your goal. So just by reading hundreds or thousands of books will not help you to become successful. You have to acquire that knowledge. If you don't have that knowledge, acquire that knowledge from others. Make sure that knowledge which you have, you don't have to go to any big universities like Stanford or uh, any big university like Caltech. Just the knowledge which you acquire from others, make it yours and apply that knowledge in your work and taste this smell of success. Surely you are going to achieve that. Fine. Fifth principle where Neponi Hill mentions is Use the power of your imagination, the workshop of the mind. Can you imagine having one million in your hand? Can you imagine having a Lamborghini or a Ferrari car with you? Can you imagine a beautiful bungalow in your mind? See, human workshop, perfect all the imagination. Whatever you create in your mind, you can bring forth to real life. This is saying, things happen twice in this world. Once in your imagination and then in the real world. Whatever that you are enjoying in life, it is because of what you have thought in your mind. So whatever you think in your imagination, it surely will happen in your real world. If you think I am poor, you will remain poor. If you think I am a middle class, you will remain a middle class. If you think I am rich, you will be a middle class or you will be a rich. If you are an ordinary student, you become an ordinary student. If you imagine I am a successful student, you become a successful student. If you become, or if you think I am a number one student, you become a number one student. If you think I am a rich student, you are going to become a rich. Whatever you think in your imagination, same thing will happen in the real world. That's where Napoleon Hill clearly mentions, use your imagination. Don't bring negative thoughts or negative ideas in your imagination because it is called the workshop of your mind. Whatever happens in your imagination, same thing will happen in the real world. So make sure imagination plays an important role. In chapter six, the sixth rule to become successful, to become rich is you have to have an organized planning. You have to plan in such a way that all your ideas, thoughts should come into real, workable, practical life. And you have to implement that. Then only it will work and you can achieve success. You can become richer. Just keeping an organized plan. No, it's not a plan. And it should be an organized plan. Exactly what is going to happen when you put it into real principle, when you put it into real life. This is what author mentions very clearly. You should not just have an ordinary plan. You should have a fair, concise, organized planning. Then it's going to make you successful. Seventh rule, Napoleon mentions very clearly, is very, very important. If you don't use this seventh rule, <laughs> then you're not going to get any success. With. In the process of your work, while you are approaching a project, you are reaching your goal, you are perfecting your goal, you come across to take decisions. In this, very, very important. So indecision. If you, okay, I'll do this work tomorrow or later words, and uh, okay, I don't have the project just now, I'll do it afterwards. If you do this, then you're not going to become rich. In this book, he clearly mentioned how you should take proper decisions. All rich people take the right decision at the right time. So you learn more about decision making process and overcome procrastination of doing things. Eight principles to become successful in which Napoleon management is very clearly is persistence. People usually stop when they are about just to get success, but they stop it. They think success is not for me, success is very far from me. No wrong. Persistence. You have to keep going, you have to keep going, you have to keep going till you achieve your success. In this eighth page or chapter, he mentions very clearly how you should not stop yourself in achieving your success. 90% of people will stop before they get their taste of success or achievement. And Napoleon mentions very clearly how to persist. Use your ideas of persistence, not stopping yourself till you achieve that success. It can be any problem. Whole world may come above your head. You should not stop doing that until you achieve your success through the power of persistence. You can achieve that. This is very clearly mentioned. Read the four straightforward points he mentions. Rule number nine. The Napoleon mentions very clearly to become rich, you have to adopt the power of mastermind. Just your mind itself is not enough. 
just your knowledge is not enough you have to use the help of other people who are already successful who are more knowledgeable than you take the ideas from others by making friendship with others and making that group a group of highly successful people in their field and if you make them come together with you and take the ideas together and you apply that ideas in your work in your business surely you're going to become more successful more faster than what you have achieved or thought about he mentions very clearly how to form your own mastermind group in this 10th chapter of this book very clearly mentions the power of mastermind not having one person but a group of many people who are already successful in their work rule number 10 the principle 10 mentions very clearly use the power of sexual transmutation what is sexual transmutation we unnecessarily waste our sexual energy which is available to us by using our sexual energy we can use that to convert it into acquire more and more riches and wealth in your life so the author is very clearly mentioning we have to conserve our sexual energy and convert our sexual energy into creative energy. By converting it into creative energy, you will be able to attract a huge wealth to your life. And he mentions very clearly how to convert the sexual energy into creative energy in a step-by-step concise method. Rule number 11, which he mentions very clearly, is using the power of subconscious mind. Friends, there are two types of mind. One is conscious mind, which is only 10% of your brain power. And other one is subconscious mind, which is 90% of your brain power. This conscious mind has a capacity to think what is good, what is bad. But subconscious mind is not like that. Whatever you say, it will say yes, yes. Whatever you say, it will do a work for you. So you have to put the messages to not your conscious mind. You have to put the messages to your subconscious mind because it is hundred thousand times and million times more powerful than your conscious mind conscious mind just do the work what is you're doing and what not but subconscious mind sorry if you say i am poor it will just give back to you ideas your to your conscious mind how to work like a poor person but if you put that thought to your subconscious mind feel it i'm rich then it will send a message to your conscious mind say you are rich and it will work like a rich person. So whatever the message is stored in your subconscious mind, same message will come to your conscious mind and same thing will happen in your real life. So you should be very careful of what messages you're feeding your subconscious mind. Tell yourself, I want to go for a trip with only 100 rupees to your subconscious mind. It will give you an idea how to go to a trip with 100 rupees. Even if you don't have much money. But if you tell it to your your conscious mind, I want to go for a trip with 100 rupees. It will say, no, it is not possible for you to go for a trip with 100 rupees. But if you tell that your subconscious mind, it will give you ideas how to go to your trip with just 100 rupees. The difference is knowing conscious mind or subconscious mind, which one to use. Use your subconscious mind properly. Wealth principle to become rich is where also matters very clearly. Learn to use your brain power. A brain is like a receiving and a broadcasting machine. It receives the thought. It should receive the thought of a powerful stimuli. Don't receive an ordinary thoughts. Receive extraordinary thoughts given by people who are already successful in their field. If you remove ordinary thoughts, you will become a still remain an ordinary person. If you remove extraordinary thoughts, then you will have extraordinary thoughts in your mind and your mind will sublime it to make it real. If you think I am an ordinary businessman, your brain makes you to become an ordinary businessman. If you remove stimulate or thoughts of an extraordinary thoughts, you will become an extraordinary person. Your brain is very simple. It's just a receiving station. If you have to receive stimuli, a thought from other extraordinary people surrounded by your mastermind group and you have to work along with that. Then your brain power works 10 times faster and powerful than what you have thought of. That's what he's clearly saving in this caption very clearly. The 13th rule, what uh, Arthur mentions clearly in his book is to use while to become rich. Yes. You need a lot of ideas in the process of working. And if you don't have ideas in your business, if you don't have ideas to work, then you're not able to take proper decisions and you'll not be able to solve problems. And sixth sense where coming into action, it helps you how your mind to use 
and bring out the ideas not only by yourself how to generate ideas from help of others mastermind group and put it into work and make your work happen run your business successfully and he explains in step by step in his book how to use your sixth sense very powerful sense other than five senses what we have sixth sense is sudden eureka burst of ideas that comes from our mind no principles of these 13 rules will work if you have shyness and fear and author uh, napoleon mentions very clearly that if you have shyness and fear to achieve success in your life then no rules will not work for you the first thing you have to keep in your mind is you have to remove the shyness or fear from your mind and from your thoughts then only these 13 rules is going to work and yes we have seen people in, through history who are successful who have become rich by having a, a thought of having shyness to behave with other people or having fear of achieving success that itself make them not to take up these steps itself so whether you're a student or professional or a businessman or a chartered accountant the first thing is you have to overcome the fear of shyness and the fear of failure generally the authors mentioned 13 rules will go to work I enjoy reading these books more than 10 times and have found that to apply my, myself. I have become rich, not only uh, financially, but uh, emotionally and spiritually as well. Read this book and it will take you only one week after giving a summary of this book in just 13 chapters, which the authors mentioned. You can finish reading this book in, uh, say, daily to spend 20 minutes to 30 minutes in one week. You can finish reading this book and you also can start becoming rich by growing think to so think and grow rich all the best for reading this book.